I was reading the Bible, like Bible verses. <laughs> I'm not so confused about life anymore. Like I am, but I'm not like, I was in bed and I was having moments of like really bad anxiety and fear of just like existing and knowing that I'm gonna die someday. That's true. Right? And just the meaning of life and all that shit. You know, like humans get, you know, like lost humans do. Right? Right? How to be like free? All of these things just make sense, even if you're not religious. It's like we're, we all, we're all born into this mortal life. And we're just confused and wandering around. But no, we were given scriptures and guides on how to live life, this life. And we just don't even, we ignore it. How many of you even know what scriptures or the Bible is? Right? Jesus Christ said there's only one way. And, and that one way was love, right? Right? I mean, how do people live? Like, I don't know how I just lived consuming every day. And I was reading specifically about forgiveness. And I actually Googled, does God forgive everything? Does God forgive everybody? Right? But these Christians, they've twisted his words. And they mean, and they twist it that only Christianity is the only way to get to heaven. Right? It was saying like, yes, God forgives unless you keep, if you're repentant. Okay, I can't say it without sounding like, okay, I can't say, talk about God without sounding like a crazy zealous preacher. Right? <laughs> and I'm not trying to do that at all. And it's like, there's other religions that believe in Jesus that is not Christian. Right? Like, so it's, like, even, even Wicca, in Wicca, they, they look at Jesus as, like, this white, uh, mage. Right? Even the Quran, the Bible, any religion, organized religion, any way of having faith, basically, to me, faith in something other than our own wants and desires means human growth means like a next level right and, and and then in new ageism they look at jesus as the supreme avatar right if i want answers of life i just need to look for them right and in hinduism again supreme avatar right that's it. It's not that they're not there. It's just we don't know where to look. We don't look. We don't listen. Right? In, in Islam, he is the son of God. Right? So it's like... I feel like if I just open my heart to more and open my mind to God, I'm not going to feel as afraid. I'm not going to feel as shitty. I'm not going to feel as fucking lost, you know? Right? Right? But see, I look at all these aspects in all these different religions, and they believe in Jesus. And it says in John 3, 16, believe in me. Right? There must be life after death, right? And this life is like a test. Right? And you shall be saved. Right? <laughs> God protects my teeth at all costs because I love him. of the most extraordinary plant predators. It's one animal that I don't need to sneak up on. Boo! This extraordinary creature is half blind, half deaf, and this is just about as fast as it can move. It's a sloth. A couple of half-hearted chews 
and the leaves go straight down to its stomach. You might think that this orangutan is washing socks as some kind of circus trick for which she's been specially trained, but not so. She is doing this entirely on her own initiative. She's seen others doing it and she's copying. And that ability to imitate as well as to use tools is something which started among monkeys but has been brought to a much greater level. This is a very unusual sight. Then, eventually, this mobile compost heap pulls itself together and starts on a long and dangerous journey. A sloth in a hurry. It wants to defecate, and the only place it's happy doing that, oddly enough, is down on the ground. here and see me okay like girls always say that their biggest fear is being sold into the sex trafficking or being human trafficked and like I don't get it cuz like there's literally girls like me who want to be sex trafficked <laughs> I'm gonna shit my pants. 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 Woo! Sucking in. Sucking in. One, two, three. Sucking in. Sucking in. Sucking in. I'm nervous. I gotta pee. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna pass out. I'm here. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, wait, wait! Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on a second. Everything is a disaster. I'm trying. Hi, hi, hi. Be on standby because we know how it is when I call things out and we know how it is when folks don't know how to act um, when I call things out. We found ourselves on the less prepared side of things. Oh, God! I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say. Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it. Okay. Oh, hey. Office webcam, hella cute. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God! What do I do? Oh, 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 Get out of the way! Go, go, go! Hello, hello, hello. Okay, okay. I finally did it. I finally set up the first office stream. Okay. Oh, God! I have to set up Zoom meetings. I have to set... I'm responsible for this stuff. I'm the technical person. I set up all the meetings. I take all the minutes. I'm the human resources lady. Um, now let's get to something more important. Let's get to something more important. Oh, God! Get 
Okay, we're trapped everyone for himself! Okay, here we go! Let's go! Get out of my way! So, yeah, I'm like... Kinda new to the Beezer show, and... Um... I'm like the company socialite, so they kind of asked me to share a cake with you. Let's get to something more important. Oh, God! Remember your exit points! Exit Oscar. points, people! What's next? Huh? Stay alive, I'm getting help! Right, well, let's eat this. No way! Oh, it smells so vanilla y. Mm. I'm not the type of person, mind you, that stream where I asked for help and I came completely honest about my life, it's been almost a month. I don't plan on doing another stream like that ever again, hopefully. Hopefully, never ever again. Oh, God! I'm gonna have to make it home and have her Taco Bell. Hold me up! You're too heavy! I only weigh 82 pounds! Oh. Safe magic! So anyways, yeah, so as I was saying, let's try this out. I mean, you know what they say. An office cake a day keeps the union reps away. <laughs> Alright, so... How dare you! How dare you reward yourself for your hard work? Mm -hmm. that, but that's exactly the tone that was taken. That was exactly the tone that was taken. Oh God! Doesn't even have the decency to put down his fucking door thingy. Okay. Oh man, this is a pretty cake. I almost don't want to eat it. Mm. You know, ham is my favorite color. Was sweet. Those who wish to bring unhappiness to others need to take a look at themselves. Truth. Oh God! He also sucks at fucking eating pussy. Um. Also, I may or may not have let a bird out during while he was eating my pussy because you deserve to smell my farts if you don't know how to eat pussy. <laughs> I don't want to get diabetes, but it's cake. I'm tired of tolerating the disrespect, but what I won't tolerate is the disrespect to me and my community. What I will not tolerate is the continuous disrespect. Oh, God! I'm here now. Right now. Right now. And, um, yeah, let's have a bite. <laughs> With cat hair. <laughs> Sorry, like I said, we have like a bunch of office cats, so. Yeah. The disrespect, the vitriol thrown from certain individuals at me and my community stops. Oh, God! If I could, like, do a class on how to eat pussy properly, like, I would win a Grammy or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen a bottle of flea medication in the CEO's drawer. Mm. You should know I would have never tolerated it. I'll never tolerate it. I can never tolerate this, okay? Oh, God! I'm also drunk. <laughs> and I knew exactly what to do, but in a much more real sense, I had no idea what to do. How does this thing work? <laughs> well, this has been quite an evening. Full of twists and turns, lies and deception. All right, my name is Carmen Pondu. No. 
Um, so I'm just gonna introduce myself, I guess. Um, no. I am the office, uh, sorry, did I say my name was Carmen? Now I have finally examined all the evidence and have discovered some terrible things. So my name is, um, well, you can call me Minx. Someone here has been keeping a secret. What? And I know exactly who it is. My name is Karen Potter. No. Um, I'm like the company socialite? No. Oh, sorry, you weren't supposed to see that. I have irrefutable evidence that someone here is not who they say they are. The company Beezer Show Limited. <laughs> um, I didn't know any of that. So, yeah, I'm like <sighs> kind of new to the Beezer Show. Yeah, I didn't know that either. No. Frickin', you know what? Very well. I have discovered it. <laughs> That's it. This. Oh. Listen, too pretty for the shit. <laughs> There's no way I would have figured that one out. Just <laughs> Oh. Whose desk is this? There's gotta be a Thompson here somewhere. No. What a slob. I do the cream. And I really want. I really want him to eat my pussy. <laughs> and then I got four hours a day for five days. And then eventually I was four hours a day for six days. And then I started covering a lot of other just random shifts, like eight hour shifts, and I did a 16 hour shift one time. Passive aggression. I didn't come here to social distance, I came here to get my coochie ate. I want a motherfucking orgasm, bitch. No. Oh. No. Fuck no. I have to pee so bad. Um, I was part-time. I was always on call, but I was part-time. Passive aggression. Yes. Uh, that handicap thing over his toilet that I have to pee on top of. I can't reach my hand in to wipe my pee now, because it's so high up. What do I do? What if I become a human superstar? I lied to you guys and said I was a full-time passive aggression. I'm peeing. I was gonna pee in his mouth. What if everybody comes to see me go? I was gonna pee in his mouth until he was squirt, and I figured that through. <laughs> I didn't want you guys to think I was some helpless person, and I thought by saying I had a full-time job that it would make me seem like some freaking awesome person. Passive aggression. So I'm peeing in this toilet now. Aren't I nice? I'm so nice. I'm such a nice lady. I did it. I did it. But I don't know how to make my move. Didn't. 
Um. I don't know why I lied about that. Passive aggression. you from the Beezer Show office headquarters. And they have hired me to host their new YouTube channel. You may have seen me before on YouTube, MFW. Unfortunately, I'm having an emotional crisis and since I'm the star of the show, I'm not going to be able to be in the sitcom today. So this is my new job and we'll see how this goes. Loyal Royal Media, LLC. I mean, really. Welcome back, Lost Souls, Trolls, Assholes. This is a wonderful rendition. Wonderful rendition. I am the host of this channel for right now. I just got back home, and I don't know which one of my friends did this, but whoever they are, I fucking love them, and I have no idea who did it. They I mean, really. All it said, there was a little note that said, happy, bur happy early birthday. I guessed your size. I hope they fit you. I see Greta eyeing him all the time. And then, I look on my door and hanging from my door fence. Meanwhile, he's too busy with his My Little Ponies. Are these three dresses? Like, give Greta a chance. Um, whoever it is obviously knows my style. <sighs> Slacking, I see. And knows that I love these comfor comfortable dresses and I've been telling all my friends. Who, me? Yeah. Always. You're not done with those TPS reports. I'm just wearing dresses all summer. And I never will be. So I was like, fuck yeah, when I seen those. So whoever that is, thank you so much. Listen, Greta was asking if you wanted to go on a date again. And also, there was this purse. How cute is this fucking purse? Anyway, I just came to get my phone. It's big, it's got lots of compartments. Recently, my wallet got stolen. I'm, I need to get a new wallet. <laughs> For my new purse. Oh, I needed a new wallet anyways. Now I need a new wallet to go into my purse. That was just so nice and th thoughtful. I don't know who did it. <laughs> Who's Greta? Hope to find out. It's obviously someone local. And yeah. What a great surprise. You don't know who... We don't remember Greta? I love great surprises. Yes. Made me feel all good and shit. Uh, you know, the girl who likes you. I'm super excited. It's my birthday week, everybody. I'm turning 45 next Saturday, April 16th. <laughs> In the cafeteria, she always microwaves the fish. You guys, I've had like such a shit fucking year that I have looked forward to my birthday and it's already like making me feel better even though it's a week out. But yeah. <laughs> Oh. 
I'm not talking about the fucking bill. I'm not talking about the fucking bill. I'm not talking about that stupid shitty fucking bill. I'm talking about something fucking different. I'm talking about medical about medical guidelines that have been put out. You stupid fucking clueless fucking shit fucking pricks. You are so fucking Christ, just fucking listen to the shit I say when I say it. I'll post the article again. It's not about a fucking bill. It's about fucking guidelines. It's not a fucking bill I'm talking about, you fucking dumbass. I'm not talking about the fucking bill. I'm not talking about any fucking bill. Like, holy shit. Absolutely no fucking reading comprehension, comprehension, totally unable to listen to what, to what I'm fucking saying. Jesus, fuck, sh fuck off. The inability to fucking listen to what I'm talking about. What they are saying is they are, they want to block social transitioning. Social transitioning. That means name, pronouns, clothes. They want to ban that shit. They want to fucking kill trans kids. That's what's happening. They are going to fucking kill trans kids. Ugh, fuck off. Fuck off, you boring ass fucking trolls. <laughs> fuck off, Bexel. Fuck off, you fucking tedious fucking dumbasses. Boring ass shits. I'm gonna have to fucking give me a fucking give me a minute. I'm gonna have to fucking ban grooming. There's a word I'm gonna have to fucking ban here. But I sleep with Bunny from Bay Nation. I mean, would she sleep with me? And you're living with Chantel. Tata. Shut. Shut. Okay. White is kind of trampy for some reason. It's just like it's like. It's kind of like, is it like white trash? Like, I don't know what it is. Like, and I'm allowed to say some white. What are you doing, lady? This is how I should be right now. You know what I mean? But I'm not. It's a fucking car. Just... I hate this fucking car. I have you on a towel, too. I still doesn't work. Let's see. So fucking ugly. Okay, I'm going to kill you. They have a new cold brew. Leave me the fuck alone, you fucking... Okay, that's the thing. Oh my god. Like, you want confrontation. Don't, don't, don't be confrontational with me because I will literally just, like, I'll do something crazy. Like, I'll snap. You know? I'm gonna try the venti chocolate cream cold brew. Why do you want confrontation? Leave me the fuck alone. Did I ask you, you fucking Nazi, wannabe Nazi-ass bitch for, for a fucking lecture? Don't speak to me. I'm pulling over. Uh, that'll be all. I want to go to El Pollo Loco. I'm really hungry. I'm like, fucking starving. I was supposed to, we, I didn't even eat dinner last night. Trying new Starbucks chocolate cream cold brew. Get off my fucking ass. Oh, really? Oh, really? You're gonna do that? No. Okay, if I wasn't filming, I'd fuck this guy up right now. Some man threw something at her, you fucking dick. Let's follow him. In a pickup truck. I'd like to kick him right in the balls. I would. You're gonna call me Karen? Like, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna, like, I'm not even gonna broach the subject with you because you're a fucking, complete fucking loser. Yeah. This whole tw thing that how twisted you are. You're gonna fucking, um, hold it like when I accelerate. That's what the fucking phone calls for. Even there's a fucking shelf for your dumbass. I'm bad with money. Like, you wouldn't believe it. I could blow. $800 in like a day. Don't speak to me like, I'm sorry. Why the fuck are you speaking to me? Am I speaking to you? Don't fucking speak to me. Like, I swear to God, don't fucking speak to me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm literally gonna completely ignore you and just keep moving on with what the fuck I'm actually here for, bitch. Like, I'm here to order something, okay? Just need general help. Like, is there a general helpline if you're a messy human that you can just call and be like, I'm a mess, I need help? Bottom line, I'm gonna leave it at that. Don't speak to me. Don't tell me anything. Don't lecture me. Bitch, I'm not gonna be lectured from my own fucking family. Anyone I know. You're gonna fucking lecture me? Okay, okay. Try Honestly, 
he eat, Uber, Uber Eats is like double the price. Get the fuck out of my goddamn business. I've had enough of everyone. I'm gonna fucking stop. Yes, I'm going to. I'm gonna fuck loud, okay? I will not listen to you. Mind your own fucking business, bitch. Mind your own goddamn fucking business, okay? Get the fuck out of my fucking business, bitch. Okay, this is the new chocolate cold chocolate cream cold brew. Fuck off. Fuck the fuck off. Okay. Oh, I'm Karen, right? I'm Karen. You're the fucking busybody ass psycho bitch. Um, this is the truth, bitch. And yes, quote me. Quote me, you fucking loser. Oh my effing god! A small dick, okay? I don't have an actual dick, but my dick is a thousand times thicker and bigger than yours, okay? Period. I feel like snatching my wig off. You ever just feel like doing that? You have a small dick, okay? First one. You're a loser. You're a complete loser. A complete loser! You guys know who I am. You guys know. Like, you will even admit that. Like, even though everyone hates me, like, you will even admit that I'm not the kind of bitch to bother someone. Why can't you eat? I got it. Okay, I'm just like, hold on. Welcome to Puebla. I got it. Hi. Can I have a large Diet Coke with extra, extra ice? You got it. And a small mashed potato. Okay. A small broccoli. Okay. And a drumstick, well done. Yeah. Can I have uh, four red salsas and three green salsas? Okay. Thank you. Hi, do you guys, are you guys getting the Nashville chicken sandwich? Which one? The Nashville chicken? No. Oh, okay. Um, in that case, I'll have a spicy crispy chicken sandwich, please. Okay. And on it, just mayo and pickles. Thanks. Hey, I hear you today. Take it back, the rest of the way. Yeah, this is chicken. Look at those paws. Thank you. Is there, I didn't get any red salsa. Sorry? There's no red salsa. Uh, you want the red spicy one? No, the regular one. Uh, how many would you like? Uh, three. Three? Alright. Alright, that's a really, really up close and personal. I'm really hungry. Um, butter and butter. I'm not on any crack or anything. Look at my pupils. Hey! Why is it really hungry? Uh, wait. Want to see my mashed potatoes? Okay. If you have any concerns or questions, you can take those concerns and questions and shove them up your fucking ass. Okay. Stupid. Fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And don't tell me about bad influence or whatever. You can take also take that comment and shove it up your ass. Okay. I don't give a fuck. just want to have a fucking cigarette now and then. Do you fucking mind? Like, do you have to be so interested in everything I fucking do to have a fucking comment on it? Go fuck yourself. Would you, would you eat this ranch packet that's been sitting in the sun for a thousand dollars? This, like, is a little bit relaxing for me. It's not like, I'm not going, <gasps> I know you guys want me to do that. I know. Like, I know you, I already told you, I know. Like, I know you want me to, like, suck it through my fucking vagina. Like, you can actually get whatever the fuck you want. You can smoke with your ass as, as much as I care. If they ask questions or they don't understand, so you have to have more patience. But then this, you know we live in America, right? You dumb fucking Nazi. Shut up. Look. Oh my god, like.
like it's actually cringy i don't know what it is like the thing is that i don't have the vocabulary to tell you guys why things are cringy like you should be able to know that if you don't have long nails and you put like a peachy color on like there's something wrong with you honestly oh my god look at this angle i'm gonna like flip shit i'm gonna flip shit Everybody needs good. Oh, I could dance all fucking day. D, this is you laughing at everything Natter says. <laughs> you fucking desperate, desperate old bitch, desperate old bitch. Shut the fuck up, fat shamer. You're a fat shamer, and Dee Dee's a desperate old fat bitch. Pete is more of a man 
Keith is more of a man. <laughs> you are cringy. Just fuck off. He have a he have a sexy dress for you. You're so threatened by Pete all the time. By Pete? More of a man than you'll ever, 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 ever be. And your husband is ready beside you. My husband? Your husband is ready beside you. Let me kiss my husband. husband. But your husband is ready beside you. Let me kiss my husband. <laughs> <laughs> my husband is so sexy. Yes! Fuck off, you. Just fuck off. And you think Dee Dee's better than Pete's? Why the hell are you watching this anyway? You look embarrassing hanging out with somebody who's fucking 85. 85 year old Chris Farley. Dee Dee, you have go to the clinic. Dee Dee, you have the club. No. You know what, Chantal? Chantal, it's Chantal. I can't believe that you're actually saying this to thousands of people when you haven't even been tested yet. You don't even know if you have an STD. You're fucked up for saying that. Oh, Dee Dee, not your fucking geriatric insults. Dee Dee's geriatric insults. I haven't heard that one since grade three. Fucking moron. Your mother whore. Fuck your step father best friend if she hear me now she know i'm right you fucking your fucking aunt boyfriend with her Dee, Dee you're fucking 400 pounds six foot two you dumb fucking bitch and you fucking are ugly as fuck get some self-respect i have no interest in dealing with you oh here me rimona 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 I know how to use an oven wiener, you fucking dumbass. You remember when you tell her I come with you to take the CPAP machine? She tell you stay a fucking day because they gonna fucking slap your face? Hey Rimona, why are you hiding, Rimona? Rimona, why are you hiding? Rimona? Rimona? Bring it, bring it, bring it! 638 Woodcliff Private! Bring it, bring it, Dee Dee, bring it, bring it. Where's the fish stick? Come, come see him, asshole. Come see him, asshole. You will not fucking ever touch him. You will never touch him. Hey, Rimona, what are you hiding, Rimona? Rimona, what are you hiding? Rimona, Rimona. You will never touch him. Oh yeah, bring, bring Didi over here. You and Didi over here right fucking now in your Uber. Yeah, that's right. Walk here, bitch. It's not your business. Why she no, fuck you in the head? Fuck. She's not in your house. Shut the fuck up. Respect yourself. After what I say now, this person have no fucking damn respect for herself. Uh, yeah, whatever, you fucking bitch. Let's see Dee Dee's fucking underwear. Let's see Dee Dee's underwear. Let's see Dee Dee's granny fruit of the loom panties. Let's see granny's panties. Let's see Dee Dee's granny. You don't even care about Dee Dee being there, you know that? You don't even give a fuck about her being there. Dee Dee, he doesn't even care that you're there. Respect yourself, respect yourself, and stop talking about me because I'm bad. I am. I no, you're good. Me. You're good. Okay. Look. I will lie like you. I will lie like you now. Just listen. I will lie like you. You're good. I'm bad. Don't come close to me. And you? What about you? Is that clear? Don't come close to me. You're not gonna see my fucking nails. Don't come close to me. Is that clear, guys? Everybody have reaction channel. Everybody on YouTube now. This bitch, I don't wanna see her fucking ugly face or ugly head or a fucking smelly sick pooper. So you're a full of shit liar telling everybody that size doesn't matter and everyone's beautiful but you're gonna sit there and fat shame me just cause you're fucking mad at me? Oh, real nice. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. Goodbye. You're not gonna come to the street. Respect yourself. I hate your fucking gut. And I don't want my name in your fucking mouth. <laughs> Ooh, I could dance all fucking day.
that seems like homophobic bullshit, so fuck you. They are shit. CEOs are greedy fucking monsters. You are never going to be rich, okay? Just, holy shit, fuck you, you boot-licking tool. Like, you pricks in there like, oh, they earned that money. Fuck you. CEOs are just the greediest fucking assholes on the planet. They are garbage. Every single one of them deserves to lose every fucking penny as, as far as I'm concerned. They can rot in hell. If you don't have a job, job at all, who fucking cares? I've ha- I have had jobs. Pieces of shit. And I fucking hate every goddamn one of them. Every single goddamn motherfucking one. Or they worked for it. No, they fucking didn't. Most of them inherited their fucking wealth and then invested that wealth in a fucking... Most of them invested their fucking wealth and make money for doing jack fucking shit. Some CEOs who work exceptionally hard. Most of those aren't... Most of them aren't actually billionaires. They don't work hard for their fucking money. Like, they barely fucking work. Fuck you, Elsoy, you fucking tool. Homophobic dickwad. Fuck you. Stop sexualizing children's cartoons. Oh, no, you're grooming, you're grooming. No, no, that's not appropriate. That's teaching sexuality. Oh, no, no, it's sex, it's sex. Bullshit. Shouldn't the laws be reflected to the people in here? <laughs> Sugar babe, I was joking. I would not eat a baby. Couple of gay penguins who got split up. <laughs> yep. Fuck you, it is. It was a joke. Hey, you know who else works hard? The fucking employees work hard. Fuck you. Fuck you. You fucking, fucking corporate shill. And you're gonna fucking tell me that fucking Elon fucking goddamn Musk is working harder than they are? Fuck you. That is just fucking licking the boots. You boot licking fucking dumbasses. That's what you are. You're fucking boot licking jackasses. Are, oh, they're working so hard for their money. Fuck you. You boot licking tool. You're a goddamn tool if you think that. That's all you are is a fucking tool. Thanks for watching. And uh, have a nice night. Welcome to a new video. Okay. first thing which is the shirt and it very much does fit i am obsessed with how this looks and i think i prefer doing my trial hauls in here but i have a mirror right there my, my hair looks disgusting which is just a pink track suit i don't really like the bottom part because not as baggy as I thought it would be. My god, my fucking hair. But yeah, this is. Obviously, I like the top suit top. You've seen me wear it before. The bottom pants. So, no.
this one will fit. But, I'm not gonna return this one. If it's too small, I'll just try to fit into it in a few pounds. It's a 4X, oh yeah, that'll fit. It's a little short for my liking, but... Do you guys like it? It's short. While we're here, let's try on the sweater. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so it is definitely a cozy moment for the cold winter nights and days. So that's what the inside looks like. I would not wear these two things together. It's just not really cute, <laughs> in my opinion. But separately, I love them both. We have the red bottom. The top. Um, these the pants stretch a lot, so like you, my face is so broken up. Um, the pants stretch a lot, and what I mean is by like over time, like they end up like becoming baggy. But yeah, I like it. Kind of cute. I like the DMX shirt especially. Let me try the jeans. I have a wedge. <laughs> I know you guys will be honest in the comments. Like it's just like too long. It looks like they started with this really cute design and just, you know, one fifth of the way through they're like, and eh, I give up. Let's just throw a black sheet on the dress and call it a day. It just sucks really bad because like I do thoroughly love this. Like look how cute. But they did me dirty. With the bottom pants with the savage shirt. Oh wait, it's on the side. Oh, I was gonna say I don't like it. Really? I'm just to add stuff every single time. Um, because it's like cotton, but it gives me like enough neck room that I'm not like, you know? So I mean. I love it. Love it. But if we're being honest, right here, it doesn't cover, you know, the <laughs> problem areas, if you will. But I do like it. And this is motivation and inspiration to me that when I lose more weight, it's gonna fit. But this is the shirt. I don't know 
looked like that I literally crushed from this morning. But yeah, I'm freaking out. Nothing new here. Just a whole model bitch. As usual, thank you PCOS. This fits me exactly how I wanted it to. Like this is literally perfect. In my opinion, like I love the mesh. Is that even the word for it? Like this is an A plus in my book. Oh, come on in. Do you want to sit? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, there you go. You sure Hi. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you want to see? You want to see your face or not? A little bit? Yeah, just your face. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see now? No, Okay. <laughs> The knee. Anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. The rumors are bullshit. Just go away. Um. Jesus Christ, you spam! You spamming fucking douche! Fuck off! I have to put on fucking slow mode again just because of you being a Spammy piece of shit? Fucking hell! Stop being obnoxious! Fuck, I hate fucking spammers! Like, Jesus, fuck, guys! to that spamming pricks question. The allegations are bullshit. The rumors are bullshit. I don't even fucking care. Like, I don't even fucking know what the details of the rumors are. And I don't care. It's bullshit. Unlimited, I'm going to fucking block you again. Before I do, I'll answer your question. Which I've answered before, you fucking spammy piece of shit.
Whatever. 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 Can I just get a better breed of trolls? I'm actually good. I know I'm good. I'm fucking pissed off. Certain reaction channel is trying very fucking hard to stay relevant so they can sympathize with abusers and make shit up against the victim of abuse. So I'm the only fucking person, because you don't like me and I'm messy, that I deserve being abused, right? So I'm the only person, woman in the fucking history of the world to go back to a neuter. Give me a break. Shut the fuck up. Sit down. Oh, you chose to come here. So you could you could have chosen to victim shame anywhere. You chose my channel. Good for you. You better hope none of your videos are harassment and bullying. I'm coming for you all. Fucking disgusting bastard. Oh, he pisses me off now. Now that I hate his guts, I fucking cannot believe people actually. I cannot believe people. I cannot believe he's on here. Like I can't. And I knew this would happen. Since I ruined his reputation. That was my fucking mentality back then. Sue me. Blaming me for him having a platform is a big reach and you're an asshole. You think I can tell him what to do? He can make a fucking platform if he wants. He was going to anyway. No more Mrs. Nice Girl today. Everyone's getting it. And I will be reacting to loser... Okay, thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for sucking my balls. Even though there's fucking audio, you people are mental. Mental, stupid, everything in the word. Figuratively, the R word is reserved for you right now. Be fucking mad, I don't care. Because that's what you are. Lord help me, I fucking swear to God, if I don't end up in prison this year, it will be a fucking miracle. Because right now, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about anything. You, you think you're going to get away with everything you've done? Really? Because I have a guest later for fucking dinner. He can't shit in his own bathroom because he doesn't have one he's a bum i had no idea what he would fucking do i'm not oh sorry am i responsible for what he does when i was under his fucking spell give me a break you you people are ignorant you have no idea what you're talking about goodbye goodbye never come back to my channel because i'm keeping my fucking comments off off and i fucking love it can't hear any of the people who normally abuse me verbally every day are losing their shit because they have nowhere to go. I have a spam folder. You don't even make it to my fucking email, bitches. Good luck. I love it. I'm going to report all of them. Don't worry. His ugly, smug face continuing to abuse women. Like he's taunting the fact that he threatened to out Jennifer with fucking revenge porn. Which, by the way, he does have porn of me. I wish he would release it so I can put him away. Uh, I'm going to have to do it the hard way, I guess. Anything I can do to help in this, I will. And all I have to do is be truthful. All I have to do is be truthful. 
I'm not going to refer to him in a name. It's going to be my abuser because that's what he fucking is. <laughs> Obviously, when you're with someone, you don't refer to them. You don't refer to them as your abuser. Like, people need to read on fucking abusive relationships and shut the fuck up. Thank you. The main thing that pissed me off, honestly, was somebody not re not knowing what per capita actually means. Pizza's mad. That. stupidest things I've ever seen reject reacts you are a total fucking idiot <gasps> like honestly it's that is so stupid I don't even know where to begin with explaining why you're an idiot it's just absolutely mind bafflingly stupid a comment you do not understand what per capita means, you jackass! Like, the, the, all politics, like, political politics and all that. Learn what fucking words mean, guy! Learn what words mean, you fucking moron! Like, that's all I can say is, like, ugh! Like, it's just a so stupidly, stupidly un uh, uneducated position. Per capita is referring to, like, ugh! Oh, straight up blocking you because you're fucking and you're getting on my fucking nerves you have nothing worthwhile to say so shut the fuck up or i shut you up because people are being fucking assholes here yeah fuck you katie marie just fuck off just go the fuck away stay off my fucking channel never come fucking never come back you're a fucking idiot you're an asshole you're a prick who's just trying to piss me off. So just fuck off, you stupid fucking shitty troll. Stop it. Like, just all you fucking trolls, just fuck off. Christ. Fuck you, Avery. Fuck you. Fuck you. Completely fucking block you. 
Fuck you, Tiger Talks, you fucking asshole. Snailed it? Yeah, fuck you, snailed it. Go fuck yourself, snailed it. You're blocked. Go fuck yourself. Grandma Spud! Go fuck yourself! Or I'm not interested in talking about that again. Go fuck yourself. Snail saying. Go fuck yourself. Bad moon rising. Fuck up. Tapu, you don't need my, uh, my permission to fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking's too fast. How do you not know what per capita mean? That's not how it works! Uh, fuck off, Cheryl Lee. Marina, I see your comment, I just don't give a shit about it. You're obnoxious. And I have no interest in putting up with you anymore. Uh, fuck you. How old am I? Uh, about to turn 37. <sighs> Fuck off, just effing curious. You know what? Fuck off, JK. Do I like pickles? Yeah, I like pickles. Whether he wanted to learn it or not, I'm teaching a lesson. He's one of the most fucked up people I've ever known. I ain't never had nobody do all this. You gotta be a sick fuck, okay? This ain't even about me. This is about all, all, which is why I stood firm. And another reason why I haven't mentioned names still. You crazy as fuck. Knowing it's dangerous, dug himself a grave. He can't get out, and he can't. He can't. Of all times, to 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 stay silent. <coughs> That's all that person does. Uh, I would. And you should tell your fucking family member to relax with her goddamn hate boner from. You are insane. You are insane. Twitter clout, not even your channel. The only people who've had common sense are the fucking free spirits and my friends and my family. Like I've been saying, I really hope people continue to feel like utter idiots. You're getting fucked up out here in these streets and you're looking crazy as hell. And I got all the fucking confirmation. You crazy as fuck! I love shit like this. I love it. It's fucking, fucking yes. Because it's... And it's real life. This is real life. You all look stupid. Want to go back and forth on fucking YouTube for some bitch ass views. That's only going to really pay you for that one month anyway. You goofy as fuck. What, what's going to happen to me? I hope my life be okay. Ooh. Scared. I don't really feel safe. I don't feel safe. What? Bitch, I was canceled. People did not even put two and two together because they're that redundant in their brain function. All I lost was some subs and some views. Wah. Give a fuck about it. Still got OnlyFans, still got Adam and Eve, bitch. Now, I understand you had to fucking up and evacuate and clear out the premises to, to break me down. For someone to have perceived a threat, why you go straight to Twitter with it, though? The only ex I have an extended amount of receipts. The only one? I don't care! But then, what do the family members are doing? Disrespecting me! Disrespecting y'all in chat! Oh! She's so unhinged! I'm the only one taking care of business, and I'm nothing better than both you bitches! Isn't it? Isn't it? 
I'm better off putting my trust in the free spirits though. Free spirits came through. Ego so fragile, couldn't believe. Uh, how dare I go on a member stream and serve back the same energy to your family member that you served to me in my house. She wasn't gonna disrespect me. After I already had established no contact, I get paid for these streams. I got paid for those streams. <laughs> that narcissistic ego gotta be right now. Thank you to the ones that didn't get caught up in the whole, oh, she's a scammer, she's a da 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 da. All that shit was distraction. And as a public figure, I do have a right to defend myself. I just have to be smart with how I do it, not exploit my background of uh, uh, my platform. The best thing I did was realize that the relationship was never real. He never invested in real emotions. He's incapable of love, empathy, um, showing, even expressing emotions. And um, he never had good intentions for me. Narcissists can't love. Narcissists don't feel. Mar Narcissists have no proper range of emotion. What? You wanna know what else? You wanna know what else? Things have turned around so much because that person's family member was in chats. Mind you, I used to be engaged to this motherfucker. It's probably not gonna go anywhere. Nothing's probably gonna happen. Nothing, no, 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 no. You wanted to fucking sabotage it, you selfish piece of shit. You're just being a transphobic little prick, huh, huh Rosie? <sighs> yes, I fucking showered, Richard. Fuck off. Get some better fucking material. Yeah, I knew who Christian is. Worship the devil. Fuck you, mama. You are so fucking full of shit, mama. Holy shit, you're a fucking jackass. Bird of a feather, you only have to post your comment once. Don't post your comment a half dozen times at once. Bianca, same with you. You don't have to post the comment a dozen fucking times. Post that comment one more time and I'm fucking blocking you. Goddamn spamming, boring ass spamming prick. It's because of you fucking assholes. It's because of all you absolute transphobic sacks of shit. Alright, Bert, you're just pissing me off with your spam spamming now. You go away. I am not. I have no patience for people who spam. Who spam. <laughs> fucking spammers. Stop the fucking spamming people. Christ, it's just. Stop spamming. Fuck. I am not, I am not a cross-dresser bummer. Fuck you, mom. You know what? You know what, mama? I am absolutely fucking fed up with you. I am so fucking fed up with you. So, welcome to Bamland, mama. Because I am fucking tired of dealing with you. 
You absolute asshole. Yep. Yeah. 80s Mohawk Punk Storm. Best storm. I've never had fried spam. I think I only had spam once. Chicken nuggets. I'm waiting for a call back from the friggin' psychiatric hospital. Speaking of which, I gotta take my meds. <laughs> what? Mental health. It's important. Right? Alright. Let me just get my pills. So, I'm not sure. Well, maybe you can tell us why. I'm waiting for a call back from the department from the psychiatric hospital that, uh, I'm back on my medication. Slightly adjusted, higher dose, but it takes a while to kick in. So you might have to deal with me for a little while. I'm just kidding. That perhaps you are impatient. No, I'm trying to go offline if I feel a rage coming or some, some kind of bad mood. I don't know, the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial is crazy. She doesn't meet your mental requirements. <laughs> yes, it reminds me of my situation a little bit. What? Why are my windshield wipers off? On. But he wanted to knock off the bullshit and get to the point. Actually, I'm going to do a tutorial video on OnlyFans. Is that news? There's different ways you can starfish. <laughs> Watch my video, you'll feel better about yourself. <laughs> Espresso depresso, have you Who? Oh God! She cut his finger off and pooped in his bed. You're right, she did. Why did you knock off the bullshit? <laughs> you see, the other day, you made some illusions. This is my hug box. Sorry. Everyone needs one. <laughs> How nasty is that? Like she's shit in the bed. Yeah. You hear about it happening. Illusions. Illusions. Not illusions. Oh my illusions. God. I can already feel my head being more clear from being on the medication already. All right, let's say it's true. Let's say I know it to be true, but you don't. I'm not able to control myself sometimes, like with my outbursts. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I feel like I should be able to like spew whatever I want on my channel, you know what I mean? And people have a right to receive it the way they want, but you you don't have a right to be hateful back. Like you don't have a right to be hateful about it. Like I'm just like you. I mean, like, I don't know. Right? Like what the fuck? Like make it make sense. Uh, you allow some shit, you're gonna get a lot more shit, you're gonna get a lot more flies, and that's what happens. Talk to him like an adult. Fuck you, you homophobic douchewad.
communication skills aren't verbal yet, but he understands. You piece of shit. And observe. They shouldn't be talking about his relationship to kids in school. Except it happens. More, please. <laughs> yeah, because kids are totally going to be blown away by the fact that somebody has a that somebody's in a relationship. Well, at his age, Greg, his mind is like a sponge. Like, kids know that relationships exist, okay? Like, it's happened for decades. Hey, can I hold him? Oh, I, I don't think that's such a good idea, Greg. <laughs> kids are super curious. So kids will ask their teachers about their relationships. <laughs> Grow the hell up. <laughs> why, why are teachers, why are teachers talking, why are they talking about their relationships? Why are they talking about their romantic relationships? Oh, that's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. <laughs> you homophobic fucker. Shit. Oh, no. oh, fucker. Nobody has ever, ever, ever complained about a straight teacher talking about their husband her, her husband homophobic assholes jack what did you just say homophobic assholes <laughs> now that there's gay teachers talking about her wife his husband now oh that's not appropriate Teachers shouldn't be talking about that. No, that's a, I don't want my teacher talk. I don't want my kid's teacher talking about that. I don't want that happen. No, that's not appropriate. That's wrong. No, that shouldn't be going on. That's totally inappropriate. It's only because they're gay. And I'm not so sure Roz is a yoga instructor either. No one. Never happened. In the history of education, it has never happened. <laughs> Getting too personal for students? Again, no. They're not. They'll ask, hey, hey, Miss Teacher, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? It's just literally never been true that teachers only focused on the curriculum. It's you! It's the wall of Gaylord! You homophobic fucker! There are some parents who are going to be, oh, no, that, they shouldn't be talking about, talking about that. Pushing sexual agenda, pushing sexuality on kids. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it has never, 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 never been an issue. Never been a complaint. <laughs> Flop era, please stop speaking on LGBT issues. You are a straight white male. We do not appreciate you telling us how to feel, think. Please consider that before you speak. Fuck you!
yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to let you know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm no longer going to be moving. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye-bye. Another apartment I got approved for. <laughs> Can I see you later? You in Ottawa? I'm in Ottawa, baby. <laughs> Can I see you later? Oh, yeah. No. <sighs> hey. Are you react? Are you reacting to me? Fuck face. What? Fuck face. Yeah, but somebody said you're reacting to two asshole. You're reacting to me. I'm not reacting to you. I'm reacting to you. I can fuck with. Oh. And who gives a fuck if I left you? I care. Mm -hmm. You have no reason to be mean to me. Yeah. Mm. What do you have to be mean to me about? Hmm? Mm. Oh. Mm. Say you love me. Where's my thumbnail? I'm drunk and on live. I gotta go. See? Where's my thumbnail? Where's my thumbnail? Where's my thumbnail? Well, tell him he's rude to me. He should be nice. I'm gonna tell him that. He You fucker. Oh, what? <laughs> I have you on speaker. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Are you going to tell everybody that you really like me or what? Why are you fucking stupid idiots? What? <laughs> See? This is what he says to me all the time. Every time I say, do you love me? Why are you fucking stupid, you idiot? Why are you fucking stupid, you idiot? Because you don't tell me you love me. I love her so much. You called me a piece of shit? Somebody just told me that you called me a piece of shit. No, I'm not going to call the police, but it hurts my feelings. What? Yeah. Why would you say that? How can you say that about somebody you love? What? <laughs> Go take your medication. You told me to go take my medication? Why would you say that? Huh? My medication? Why are you take them today? Why don't you you have to admit to people you love me? Why don't you you have to admit to people you love me? That's what I'm saying, take medication. You don't believe me. And now people believe me. Go take your medication. So full of shit. You know what? The motorcycle guy messaged me. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, meet you at your place tonight. I'm done work at 8.30. Hmm. I actually legit feel mental health shamed. <laughs> 